Viewers, America, which was leading oil talks in Libya, is announcing a major breakthrough in these negotiations. Today, American embassy in Libya issued a press release just a few hours ago. And this press release states that the NOC, National Oil Corporation of Libya, is set to resume its work. And uh, this press release states that uh, the Economic Working Group of the International Follow-up Committee on Libya, it met today on 6th of July uh, and this meeting was virtual video link conference. It was attended by Stephanie Williams, uh, who is the representative of the uh, uh, Secretary General of the UN, uh, then Embassy of uh, the USA in Libya. Then United Nations Sport Mission in Libya, uh, delegation of EU, representatives of Egypt, UAE, Turkey, France, Italy, uh, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, uh, the UK and African Union and lastly the Arab League. Uh, so the uh, press release mentions all these countries and says that all these countries are behind NOC, National Oil Corporation of Libya. NOC will start its work and all the revenues from oil and gas in Libya uh, they'll be distributed uh, in a fair and transparent way and this revenue of oil and gas it will not be used for any illicit purposes. Uh, so viewers, uh, the countries which are backing GNA and LNA, uh, Turkey, Egypt, UAE, uh, all these three countries uh, were part of these negotiations. Russia is out of these talks, uh, but the countries which are backing LNA and GNA, uh, except Russia, they were part of these negotiations. So now US is announcing this major breakthrough. Uh, this all, that all these parties, they have agreed to uh, resumption of oil production. Uh, definitely, we, we, it seems that both GNA and LNA, they are on board. Uh, uh, that is why so far no response against this announcement uh, by either GNA or LNA. Mustafa Sanaullah, who is the head of National Oil Corporation of Libya. He was also part of the talks. Uh, 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 in other it seems that Russia has been deliberately kept out of these talks. That is why in, in the recent days, Russians have been trying to capture oil wells to uh, keep their relevance in uh, Libya. I informed you in two of my videos. Uh, in the first video, I informed you about Russian Wagner fighters. They entered Al Shadara oil field in Fazan territory in western Libya almost uh, three weeks ago. Then yesterday, I informed you about uh, the Sidra oil port. Uh, that Russian fighters they took control of Sidra oil port as well. Uh, so Russians they are trying to remain relevant in Libya. That is why. They are taking control of uh, these oil rich areas and oil wells in Libya. Now, viewers, what is the fate of Turkey's Sirat offensive? Because Turkey's claim uh, was that it wanted to take control of oil rich areas uh, because they were vital for uh, any influence in Libya. That was said by Tayyip Erdogan, the president of uh, Turkey. So now if uh, oil production is starting and revenues will be distributed in a fair and transparent way and uh, there will be no use of these revenues for illicit purposes. So what will be the future of this Sedat Offensive? Will Turkey now press ahead uh, with this Sedat Offensive or not? And what will be the response of Russia views? I mean, Al Sharara is under their control, then Sidra oil port as well. They might try to uh, take control of other oil wells as well. Will they allow NOC, uh, National Oil Corporation of Libya, to resume its work on Al Sharara and Sidra oil port as well? Uh, that we'll see in the coming days. But